hi everyone and welcome back welcome to another playlist and i will not say that it's a playlist it's a combination of uh, my existing work existing content i'm going to just group them together so that it would be easy for learn and uh, get through them so i'm going to talk about all about microservices in the node.js and i have already created a lot of content in microservices either in node.js or any other framework or language so here we are going to talk about how to go through the content which is already there about microservices and then i'm going to put some more content which is a graphql apollo federations and there are a lot of microservices i'm going to build with the uber eats clone uh, let's see uh, what all playlist i already have i will put all those links in my description and if you go through them in that sequence you are going to get everything out of it so what i'm saying is this is microservice pattern first of all you need to understand what is microservice uh, what is the difference between microservice and uh, monolith and a microservice so I, I have created all these architecture patterns talking about okay how you go through all the microservices pattern which is monolith uh, different uh, microservices pattern event driven architecture api gateway pattern cqrs event sourcing everything is there and when you work with the microservices you need a containerized environment on the local so how to use docker docker compose everything is here then uh, microservices with the node.js express nest.js so i have tried to cover it and container orchestration for microservices how to build a docker compose how to write a docker file so these are like basic things i have covered here now let's start with the very basic thing is node.js microservices here I'm talking about how you can build a simple Node.js Express TypeScript microservice, how to baseline it, then how to add the component, what are the best practices, how to create a basic full stack architecture pattern. And then I started talking about, okay, in microservices, how we can get a, a event-driven uh, architecture with the messaging queues, rabbit time queues and all, microservices event-driven architecture, authentication, authorization, uh, Node.js service discovery, this is all about on top of the architecture patterns I have covered. So initially I covered just uh, how to baseline the microservice to expose the REST API or GraphQL APIs uh, and using the TypeScript Node.js Express. And then once you have a microservice, let's try to understand the pattern through the code, how it all really works. That is the second playlist. Third playlist is now I started talking about, okay, let's say you know Express and REST APIs, building Express API with the Express and TypeScript. Now let's use this Nest.js framework and this is a sub part of another playlist but you can go through them and it is talking about creating basic authentication service which is exposing the REST interface. So this playlist will talk about Node.js microservices which are based on the REST APIs which is exposing the REST interface because microservice can expose the REST interface, GraphQL interface can be a gRPC, tRPC or anything. Then here if you want to go through this you can go through this first it's a 12 factor principles with the nest.js microservice or a node.js microservice because 12 factor principle applies to any kind of microservice irrespective of the language so here i covered okay how we can do the testing linting migration uh, populating environment separating the environment and then what all different principles of uh, orm just putting testing deployment separation uh, writing the health checks, unit tests, populating the environments based on the your target environment, how to deal with the database, all those 12 factor principles are covered here. Okay. Next thing I'm going to build is building a microservice exposing the GraphQL interface because I already have a playlist for that. So this Node.js REST API built on top of built using Express, Nest.js, you can talk about Koa or Hapi. That, that depends how what you are using. I'm good with Express and Nest.js because that is satisfying everything to me. I mean, everything for me. I, I, I'm happy that I'm using Nest.js and that gives me everything. So in some of the microservices, what you do is you try to expose different interface. Uh, let's talk about this database we can give here. So you choose a framework and then you build a service. So this service can do a lot of things, right? Either it can expose a REST interface, GraphQL interface, gRPC, tRPC, or maybe just a message driven microservice, which is listening to some events through the message queues. So basic uh, microservice we talk about is REST APIs. And we have already done that using Express, Nest.js, Koa, Hapi, whatever the framework you choose. 
it exposes rest interface you will put authentication authorization and some consumer will consume it by using the client apis like xgos fetch and all now we can also build a graphql interface because it's not all about uh, okay i did it's you can also expose the graphql interface if you just wanted to know like what is graphql and all then you can just look into my playlist which are talking about graphql and you will learn how to expose a graphql rest api graphql interface and then we can also talk about some of the apis uh, some of the interface where you are actually exposing grpc right grpc interface or there can be microservices which are not which are event driven that means that acts on a particular event that acts on a particular message coming through some messaging pattern like rabbitmq kafka sqs sns or some microservice which is listening so it's like a message driven microservice message or event driven i mean they don't actually expose an interface they may or may not expose an interface but, but how they react when there is a message came to sqs sns or rabbitmq there is a listener and that is also a service because it is actively listening to that particular messaging queue and when the message appears from that it will start listening and acting on to that so this is like these interface are mostly synchronous interface from here to here these interface and this interface is little message driven and asynchronous interface because there is involvement of messaging queues and all so i already covered the playlist of rest apis graphql interface i'm going to cover about graphql interface a lot more because there is another playlist i'm going to cover if you want to just talk about the basic graphql interface then there is already existing playlist basic graphql apis i'm going to go one step beyond apollo graphql federation that's a new playlist i'm going to add and uh, grpc interface and grpc i will cover these two more like creating a simple nasjs interface because nasjs also provide a microservices which can listen to a, a rabbit mq calf cow or something so that is message driven or event driven microservice so we will also talk about these example in this playlist so i'm going to group these videos together so even if you don't want to go through these separate playlist these playlist will be ordered in such a way and then i will add a inter uh, i will add a videos about graphql apollo federation in the same playlist and we'll talk about one service where you are using one node js nest js service which is using grpc trpc another uh, node js nest js service which is which is listening for the events from the G uh, from the rabbit mq kafka sns whatever the message listener platform so it's a listener service others are uh, synchronous services which we have already talked about so a lot of content is already there some more content i'm building and uh, that's it so i'm going to group all these things together if you have any questions uh, you can just send a comment but the next playlist here on the line is basic graphql apis there is a lot more content graphql master course is there so i'm going to build apollo graphql federation same authentication service which i created here i'm going to build the same authentication service using graphql apollo federation and then some more, some more simple services i'm going to build with a grpc trpc and one service we are going to write in nsjs or maybe express node.js typescript which is listening for kafka or rabbitmq that gives you overall understanding of the microservice world because microservice is a single entity which is decoupled from the whole interface where you just store the references you don't have a shared database it's totally decoupled from the rest of the architecture but uh it uh, it does what it does it has its own interface and it's independent it doesn't create a problem uh, due to another service okay we have already discussed a lot about microservice pattern architecture and all and here we are just create using different protocols microservice using uh, http protocol amqp protocol and all and then different framework like express use exposing rest api express or nsjs exposing graphql interface that is still http protocol or then we can talk about a grpc protocol and trpc protocol and then same frameworks which is we, where we are writing a service to listen to a particular event because 
in the whole microservice architecture we also write event driven system event driven microservices which are reacting based on the event happening in the product system let's say the order created uh, user invited something like that so stay tuned i will be putting more content to the apollo graphical federation then grpc and then message driven and event driven microservices